to day four, by the way. I'm Tom Basil, uh, taking some quick looks at different games. So today, the first I started off with Paladins of the West Kingdom. This is not the complete final version of this game. It's uh, but almost done. It's, all the pieces look good. It's minor, minor things. So this is pretty cool. It's coming out later this year from uh, Gar Garfield Games and Renegade Games. This is the sequel to um, Architects of the West Kingdom, which is a sequel to, it's like a sequel to a lot of games. But it's a worker placement game. It's really, really fun. You're putting worker placements on your own board, various different colors, put them in different spots. I like it better than Architects, actually, so far. Really good. I probably am not winning, but we'll find out soon enough. Let's go finish the game. All right, so the game is over here. Here's Sarah who taught us the game. Uh, I lost, but I didn't come in last. <laughs> That's my goal. How many points did you get? 31. Oh, I came in second. I, I think you, I think you got it. With 44 points. So the game has kind of a secular nature uh, where you have these three different uh, tokens, and they all kind of feed into each other. So you basically... If, you know, if you're working on military, that will feed in. I don't know what these actually stand for. The red is military, I'm sure. Religion and morality, who knows? I was very immoral in this game. But there is a lot going on. It's about a two hour game. There's just a ton of different options that you have. There's no way you can do everything in this game, although uh, Fell came pretty close <laughs> to doing everything. There's a lot of neat options. I really like it a lot. Uh, initial rating very, very high. So that's uh, Paladins of the West Kingdom. You're going to get the names mixed up. <laughs> and, and here's Fell. He's not talking hey. because he's still adding up I'm his busy points. I'm winning. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right, now I'm playing Time Chase. Uh, this is about time travel, I think. Um, it's from Jonathan Woodard. It's coming up from Renegade this summer, I think. Is it? This summer? Yes, this summer. I don't know anything about it. Let's find out. All right, so this was a trick-taking game in which you... It's a normal trick-taking game of sorts, but you're going to be going throughout history or timelines, and you're trying to win tricks, but you can then go back and win previous tricks that someone else won. It's kind of a jerky thing to do, and I would never do it, but I won. By doing that. No, no, listen. You, you took my the win away from me. You beat that me in the last game. I feel like this is an even spread here. <laughs> so, a uh, very fun game. It goes how many players? Two to six. Two to six players. Time chase. It's coming out. August. August. Gen Con, probably. So now I'm playing... Franklin's Just Fortune. This is a little deck building game that no one has ever heard of before. But Mike Gray found it and we're going to check it out. It's about Ben Franklin. Let's find out and see who wins. Alright, so Franklin's Fortune is a very, very simple deck building game. It has a couple currencies. You're like getting the virtues of Franklin. Have your some workers working for things. It's, it's not bad. It's not amazing. It's kind of right down in the middle of the road. Some, you know, dated graphic design, but has a pretty strong theme. So I'm going to take a, look, a little bit more look at it and give a full review of it in the future. But um, I'll, I'll give it credit for theme, though, for sure. And the way the cards look is pretty neat. All right. Now, me and Nick are detectives here. We are going to be uh, trying to solve the case of Murder at Sunset Boulevard. You really shouldn't go to Sunset Boulevard. He came to Sunset for love, but found blood instead. That's your first clue to get out. So we're playing with the designer of the game. Here, this is Detective City of Angels, although I feel like that's an ironic name. So we'll find out. Here we go. People will say that. All right, the case is over. It's finished. We are not friendly detectives at all. We didn't share much information. He did most of the work. I did work. A lot of work. And Tom got the answers. I solved the case and took the credit. Got the girl. I'm on TV now. Oh, is there TV in this time? Yeah, there's TV in this time. Prayer. Yeah, I'm on TV. Was there TV? There was movies, at least. Anyway, I'm in the newspaper. And uh, this is a really fun game, so... Um, he lost. He was the... What do you call him again? The, the, the chisel. The chisel's the guy who's trying to mess us up. And he actually did make me... I went on a lot of nonsensical waste of my time. We, I solved it in the very last turn. So, very fun game. That's a Detective City of Angels coming out. Gen Con. Oh, Gen Con. All right. And the Kickstarter backers, probably. Yeah. 
So here we are, we're looking at Mega City Oceana. That's the game. This is not a complete finished game. You can see the paper peeling off the front. It's a, it's a, what do you, what do you call this? Beta copy, alpha Beta. copy. All right, so this is coming out when? Uh, third quarter of this year. All right, Q3. So this is uh, from Hub Games. You might know them from uh, The Troubled Life of Billy Kerr. And Blank. And, um, and untold Rory Blank. Story Cubes. And Untold. Great, great stuff. So, uh, but this is not like those at all. So I plan to win. I don't know why that correlates at all. All right, so this was a dexterity slash, well, mostly dexterity actually, but you're, you're trying to build buildings. You're gonna look at the card. The card tells you how tall the building has to be, how many blocks it has to be, and then you slowly build it with different things, pieces you pull from a bag, and it falls over like 80 times. And eventually then you have to slide it carefully into the middle of the table, finding uh, it's really difficult, but it's more difficult for some people than for others. Some of us have an easy time. <laughs> uh, really fun game, and it looks amazing when done. I mean, just look at this final product. And then a back All right, now we're playing Escape Room, the Sinister Mansion, and Sam's figuring out everything. That's a Paul and Sean. Bonacore is too lazy to be here. So we'll tell you if we won or not. All right, whoa, we, wait, hang on, I need to put on the hat, you know. Yes, we solved it. I'm ready for bed. That was a tough one. Was really was a, the final puzzle was extremely difficult, I thought. But, but the, did you think it was good? No, oh, yeah, it's cool. It's kind of fun. Really cool. This was Sean's first escape from in a box. I'm a, I'm a fan. I'm a little stressed out He's about it, fan. but I'm a fan. <laughs> he almost fell apart when we started to have to bend cards and cut things. <laughs> Still good. Still good. Alrighty, well that is it for another day here. I'm done for the night probably. Thank you guys for watching as always. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell and you've been watching the Dice Hour. See you tomorrow. Alright, I lied. That wasn't the last game of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Sam and Sean made me play a short game. Build him back in. <laughs> Alright, now we're playing a game called Silver and Gold, which is named after the uh, Frosty movie. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Next line. Nope, not gonna do it. Ah, let's get to the game. But we know you've got a good voice. All right. Well, that was silver and gold. Very fun game. You're drawing Tetris-shaped cards, and when you draw these cards, you will fill in squares on islands, trying to get treasure, trying to get palm trees, trying to get X's, because X marks the spot. As you fill these in, you'll score points for them. You'll eventually get a scorecard, looks something like this, 102, which seemed like a great score until Sean decided to win. This and game is off. awesome. This game is completely awesome. I've played it like eight times already. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that really is the last game of the night. For real this time. No! See y'all! Until next time, I'm Tom Vessel. Not doing this again.